Good morning. Talking rain, so I don't think we're any seeding today, and I've got a few jobs to do before we get on to the lentils. Uh, not much point checking the oil here because it's so far out of level. But the idea is I want to back and clean out the SOA, then I'll take it round and fill up with fur and then fill the truck up at least. So we get a few of those niggly little jobs done before uh, uh, for later. All right, well, here it is. I promise rain. Ten mil apparently, perhaps, fellas. That's what we want sheep out. Oh God. A hungry sheep is a friendly sheep, apparently. Half the bastards are out. That's not so good. Get back in there, you bastards. I've got feed for you. Stop being so impatient. You mob of obnoxious bastards. Come on. Come on. Mind eating the grass and the rub, you'll have plenty of chance to do that. So, they're back. Thank God for that. Well, that was a waste of a couple of hours. Let's see how many sheep are out today. Oh, uh, what a disaster it was yesterday. But anyway, we got them back eventually. But uh, I figure it doesn't look like we're going to get seeding tomorrow. Uh, by the forecast, I've got a few jobs to do to get these colders up and running, but uh, I don't know whether the pressure's going to be on because I don't think looking at the forecast probably won't get going till Wednesday. So it'll be into June, which upsets me a little bit. I mean, it just, yeah. Anyway. Ah, well, what you going to do? Let's see what disasters await us this morning. Nice. We were slipping off the road. Look at that. Like driving on ball bearings. Well, you seem to be in for now. We're gradually chewing through these wires, getting them fixed. Raining again, so that's not good for the seeding. Well, it's good for the season, exactly what we want, but uh, not so good to finish for finishing. Anyway, nice, picturesque. Apt music. Alrighty. One will complete the rain. Nice. Well, we fixed the fence in theory, but I suppose half the bastards will be out. We'll see how we go. Drill time. Doesn't that look de delicious? A uh, colder manifest on a nice cold, damp Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's still a bit wet for seeding, so we better finish this off. So what happens when you cut the other ones too short and don't have quite enough? Means uh, we got to weld some up to length. Not a problem. All in, all in the fun of the game. Nice. Uh, I think the old grinder's got a few. <laughs> They're getting that uh, grinding wheel might have seen better days. Can't dress. I tried dressing it, but that only uh, deals with uh, when it's out of square. That's out of round. Well, yes, out of round. So that's not so good. Nice. Just like I bought one. We're just going to finish polishing that off and paint it. You'd never know how it joined. That's what we like. Quality. Just sheer quality. Not keen on hay at all, apparently. Look at that. This isn't going to be great for welding. Oh God, I don't know whether we'll ever finish seeding or ever get these colders on. Seems like an impossible job almost, and it shouldn't be. Very last day of feeding these uh, sheep, or all of them anyway. So I think we better get it out here 
before we get too late in the day while there's a break in the showers. So again, no seeding, but uh, oh well. I guess we'll get there eventually. But no, it's uh, surprisingly wet for not an awful lot of rain. But um, we will sort of want to we'll give them another roll of the hay. We might take a roll of the hay home too for tomorrow. Oh, wowzers. Yowzers, wowzers. Where'd you get them trousers? Yeah, so perhaps this will be the last perhaps. oil change for a while. Well, considering it won't be, it'll still be in service until September. I don't know whether it'll run up 5,000 Ks, but look at that. A proper Ryko Z9 we had in the cupboard. Fancy. Where is that one made? When, when was it made? Why? Manufacturing Co. Australian made. My goodness. Good Lord. That'd be worth like a million dollars now. Incredible. Ryko Z9. A minute cord, but we'll pull our dipstick out. A little rubber band. 3.3. Some people don't rate them, but it's actually been a good motor. Really good. What is it, 41 now? 320,000 Ks. Runs as good as new. Yeah, I know. That's a light, isn't it? Look, another light. Another light. Two of them. Wow. We're out here again. I was a day out. So one more day. But uh, half of them. Well, not half, but a few of them. Decide to help themselves with a bit of hay here. I just, hell, they're mad for it. Absolutely gagging for the hay. Unbelievable. It's not even that great a hay. But I'm not going to. Anyway, we'll uh, give them a couple more rolls and they go home tomorrow. So, a few more rolls, a bit more grain. There's a few out. As per bloody usual, we'll. Uh, to give them some food. They're hungry. They're eating. Good thing when a few of them go, I think. It's time. Well, as I know you're hungry, let's get some feed out to you. But I didn't do too bad considering how wet it was yesterday. The factoring manifest. Look at that. Ah, oh, slowly getting there in amongst all the rain showers. Such fun. Oh gee willikers, so we're off to try and bring these sheep home. This could be fun. All of the fun. Oh, I'll let you know how this disaster unfolds, if indeed it is a disaster, which it may well be. Isn't that right, fellas? I'll just send you to run around them. That'll be fun. Uh, not even interested in coming to the gate this morning. Other days, you literally got to fight them away with a stick. Today, Nowhere near it. No interest at all. That's sheep for you. Cotton on now. Here we go. Because they would run the wrong way. <laughs> Wonder if they'll run the wrong way again. Blimey. Third time lucky. God. Oh, I need the exercise. Well, wonder how. Wonder how this will go. Well, I think we've all chilled out a bit now after our excitement at the crossroads. I've shut a couple of gates here so I've got a bit of room to push them forward, but anyway. Better or worse, sir, they're here. Good lord, what a job. Hey about the sheep, Kate? Uncle, round them up. You're going to round them up? What about you, Claude? Too dirty? Oh no. Alright, I feel like we've kind of got it under control. Not ideal, but it does the job. And we do have lights, because he's coming at 6.30 in the morning, it will be dark, so we'll need them. Well, this will be fun, he's coming super early, so... I mean, 6.30's not that early, but would have been nice to have daylight to shift him around to the ramp, but what are you going to do? Oh, well, we'll try. We will do our best. Sunrise. Yeah, 
There we are. 202 weather lambs. What remains of the sheep? At 86 of you, apparently. We got rid of 202, which was nice. I mean, 45 of these or so uh, are uh, weather hoggets anyway, so they weren't going um, over the hooks as it were. So um, that's actually a pretty good result. That uh, there's only about 40 that didn't make the cut out of the lambs. So we'll give them a feed and it should do them for a couple of days until we finish seeding. That'll be good. Concentrate on our other work. It'll be nice. Well, I don't care what anyone says. That is a that is a beautiful sight. Just beautiful morning. Excellent. Final one. I think we've got that all correct. Let's weld her up. There it is. Look at those flux cord welds. We ought to invest in some gas. Wouldn't have to spatter to worry about, but uh, does a nice job nonetheless. Let's lay this stuff out. I mean, no rain forecast, but. Uh, it's certainly raining, not heavily, but enough to get damp in, and I want to put a knockdown out, so I guess we won't be spraying today. Well, that's a bit shit. Both lift when you have a tractor to help lift for you. At least that's uh, saving the back for a moment, anyway. Ah, Coulter Manifest, finally. Just a shame it wasn't, the framework wasn't painted, but, well... That's, we do what we can. I think it's pretty impressive. I hope it works all right. So we've tied the hoses up here, it gets a bit close, so we shouldn't rub them out. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, well, who knows, we might finish seeding one day. Now for, well, the first moment of the truth, and that's gonna be to see how this thing folds up. Uh, this other remote's not working properly, so I can't tilt it, but anyway, we'll find out. There's a fair bit of weight, so we'll just see whether it misses, and well, no, obviously no problem pulling it over, but is it going to hit anything? That's the first thing. Mm, I mean, by measurements, it should be okay. But you never know until you actually do it, but it's fine. There we go, look at that. Wow, what a thing that is. That's some weight in that now. Alright. I'll take it round and I'll unfold it and uh, leave it to try and put some fat in the morning. Well, boys and girls. Now that it's 10.30, it's a perfect time to go for a spin to wakey and get some ad blue. Ah, oh, blimey. What a time to be alive. No, it's good, because we'll do it now. We don't waste daylight. Who don't need to sleep when we get up five, something like that? Well, it's proper farmer's time. Five to midnight. That's what we should be aiming for. Five to midnight. Five to one, why not? The ad blue is a bit dearer than I thought it would be. I've seen it cheaper. All right, let's fill up some of these, but maybe not all. What do you know? This place, which is usually dearer, is cheaper this time. Well, bugger me. Anyway, we'll get the rest of it.